wait. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, as you already know, I'm not going to mention any companies or products, but I will tell you that I've been with the same company now for 25 years. I started by sponsoring four distributors. And from those four distributors, they have grown to over 1,400,000. And 95% of all those distributors came from the original four. So that's got to tell you something right up front that uh, you don't have to note the word recruit a lot of people to build a large organization. What you need to do is sponsor and teach people to duplicate. And if you're new and you don't know what that means, it simply means that when you sponsor someone, you help them go three levels deep. If you don't duplicate, you will never, ever build a large business. And that's why salespeople do not make it in network marketing because they do not duplicate. I think most of you have read my book, but for those of you who haven't, napkin presentation number four tells you what your business should look like. It should look like the biggest building you've ever seen in your life. And that represents huge income, but you cannot see the building or the income until you do the foundation first. And the foundation has to be deep. That's what happens when you duplicate, you go deep. Give you an example of what's happening in the industry. A non-sales type will recruit a salesperson thinking they're going to get rich because people, which they can. So in six months to a year, they can recruit, note the word recruit, 50 to 100 people, okay? But you look at their genealogy at the end of the year and they haven't duplicated themselves one time. So now they're losing people faster than they can add them. So now they think there's something wrong with the company, the product, the marketing plan, their sponsor, whatever. But someone shows them another hot program. Now they're off to the races on the new hot program. Guess what happens after a year with that program? Same thing, no duplication. Now they're off to the races on the next hot program. Before you know it, you know, they've been in three, four, or five or more programs, okay? And they're never going to make it because they're not duplicating, okay? Um, tell you, well, if, if you run into people or you know people or salespeople and you want to bring them into your business, you know, it's impossible for a salesperson to make it in network marketing doing sales, okay? They can be huge in network marketing under two conditions, okay? They've got to give up sales 100%, period. And they've got to learn network marketing because they're different and people don't know they're different. Tell you a story about a person by the name of Jimmy the Butcher Smith. He was cutting meat, being a butcher for 40 some years and finally had to give it up because he hurt his back. He got into network marketing said he loved network marketing, but he didn't do network marketing, he did sales. So he was actually in a new program every year for 10 years, made hardly any money at all. He came across my training and he learned that we do not recruit people to sell, but we sponsor and teach people to duplicate. He was 52. Uh, when he found my training material and he learned that we don't recruit people. And by the time he was 70 years old, he was worth 35 million. And when he got to be 92, he was worth 90 million. Um, I call him one time to ask him for a testimony for a new edition of my book coming out in Europe. And first time I'd ever talked to him and he was so appreciative of what he had learned for me and what it had done for his family and his life. He invited Nancy and I to go on a company cruise out of New Orleans. We live in San Diego within three days, paid for the cruise, paid for the Air Force, spent a week with him on this uh, cruise. He didn't spend two minutes talking about his company, product and marketing plan. All he wanted to do was talk about the numbers, the duplication and uh, sponsoring and teaching and building a family of consumers. Now. Another quick testimony, a guy named Jordan Adler, he's the top distributor in his company now, 
But when he got started in network marketing, he was actually in it for 11 years. Never, never could sponsor anybody because he kept trying to recruit people to sell and nobody wants to sell. I think uh, 90, 95% of the people don't want to sell. I'm going to talk, talk more about that in a little bit. So anyway, he came across my book in a garage sale. He bought it for 25 cents. He's now a multimillionaire. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give you another testimony on myself just in a minute, but I want you to know that 100% of the people in the world who are not in network marketing do not understand it. 80 to 90% of people who are in the world, who are in network marketing, uh, don't understand it. And you'd be amazed how many company owners don't understand it. So that's why when people read my book, which is like Adrian Toy has already sold over 11 million copies, they understand it. Now, when they understand it, we coined the phrase and said, when they understand it, now they know how to drive and you'll understand more about that in a few minutes. But for personal testimony, for those of you who might've come on a little late, didn't hear, that I started by sponsoring four distributors and that has grown to 1,400,000. What I didn't tell you is that I am in a health company, been with it for 25 years, and by accident now, I have actually sold one product. Some people were visiting at my home, product was on the counter in the kitchen, they saw it, asked what it was, I told them they wanted to buy it. It's the only thing I've ever sold, but my volume last month was over 14 million. I will do well over 150 million in volume this year. And I've never recruited anybody to sell anything. I just sponsored and taught people how to duplicate. So what I wanna do now is talk about your market. What that means is uh, if you actually think you're selling health products, how many people do you think are out there that are really really interested in hearing what you have to say. Well, only 15% of the people in the world are either sick, hurt, or into health at any given point in time. So if you think you're selling health products, you have a small market and you have a lot of competition because 80, 90% of the people in, in network marketing, they're, they're looking for those people. So you got a small market and you also have a lot of competition because all the new companies uh, starting up, uh, you know, 90% of the new companies that start up don't make it two years. And the reason for that is because they're not duplicating. They all make the same mistake and that's the cause of their failure. They recruit a sales manager. Now, I think that's strange because we're not in sales, we're in network marketing. So why do they recruit a sales manager? Person's never sponsored a person a day in their life in network marketing, never built a business in network marketing. So why did they recruit the sales manager? Two reasons. First one, they don't understand network marketing. And the second one is they recruit the sales manager to sell their products, okay? And they do that, they're never going to make it. So you got a small market, a lot of competition. Now here comes the biggest problem. 95% of the people want nothing to do with selling. In America, a few months ago, it was on the news, they were talking about this, that only 4.7% of the people in America want anything to do with selling. So something for you to think about, you've got 90% of the people in network marketing looking for that 4.7% of the people who can't make it, okay? So let me give you a little comment here about uh, activity. Now, what does that mean? I want you right now, think about how many people you have in your downline, in your organization. Now, how many of those people are actively building a business? Okay, the industry average for that is like 5% or less, okay? Uh, Zoom call some time ago, after the call, I asked the woman how many people she had, and she said 500. I said, well, gee, that's good. How many of those are active? <laughs> she got really quiet for 10, 15 seconds and she said 10. And again, folks, that's the average in the industry. Okay, now to build a business in network marketing, it's really very simple. There's only two elements. 
you have your vehicle, which is your company, your product, and your marketing plan. You can have the hottest vehicle in the world, but you're not gonna go anywhere if you don't know how to drive the vehicle. And that's the problem in the industry. People are recruiting people and they're spending days, weeks, and months trying to teach someone who doesn't want to sell how to sell. They don't even spend one minute teaching them how to drive the vehicle. We have an analogy that makes it real simply simple to know and remember. If you own a brand new Lamborghini, would you let your best friend go for a block, ride around the block in your brand new Lamborghini or Ferrari if they didn't know how to drive. Well, my wife and I, we did training seminars in over 35 countries around the world, asked hundreds of thousands of people over the years that question. 100% said, no way would I let them drive my Lamborghini if they didn't know how to drive. But now think about what people are doing in the industry. Again, I already mentioned that they recruit somebody and they try to teach them how to sell. Doesn't work. When we did those training seminars, I always started off by asking the people, when you sponsor a new person, how much training time does it take you before your new person can sponsor someone? Can you do it like in one or two hours? No. Two or three days? No. And how many of you, you know, have people with you uh, even several months and they still haven't sponsored anybody, even talked to anybody? Over half the people in the room would raise their hand. And I said, well, uh, you like to know why they aren't sponsoring anybody? Because see, nobody taught them something that they can do. You have to have something so simple that anybody can do it. And that's what I'm going to do for you with our app system and technology. You are going to be able to do in two to five years what took me 25 years to do. And it is so simple that absolutely anybody can do. One more quick analogy. When I go through this, teach it to you. Uh, it's kind of like, well, first of all, I'd like to mention that we do have a secret you know, with the system and that's we teach you not to talk, okay? The more you talk, the more people think they can't do what you're doing. And the more you talk, the more they think they don't have time to do it. So that's why with our system, we let the tools do the talking for you. So when you learn how to do what I'm gonna teach you, it's like I hand you the keys to the vehicle. You can get in it today and actually start building your business today, okay? Going down the freeway, sponsoring and teaching and building your business. Now note this, very, very important. You can learn about the company, the product and the marketing plan while you're building your business. The people who are recruiting people to sell, they've got to like, like lift up the hood bonnet you know, of your vehicle, take the whole engine apart, put it back together before they even think they can talk to someone. That's why it takes them days, weeks, and months before they even try. So let me show you how this works. Okay, we have a hat that says, own your life. And we have pins that say, own your life. Now let's say you don't have the hat or the pin. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to say. You're talking to a stranger, someone you've just met, okay? Uh, bottom line is you simply ask them, have they ever thought about what it would be like if they could own their life, okay? Simple question. Uh, most people, owning your life, incidentally, is having time, money, and health. And most people don't even know one person that has all three, okay? Young people, millennials, if they're making 60 to 100,000 years or dollars uh, a year, they have a little bit of money, but they don't have any time because their job, their commute, and things they have to do, and their health's okay. Older people, they have you know, a lot of time, but they're running out of money and their health's going bad, okay? So it's a simple question. How would you like to own your life at a time in your life when you could enjoy it with your friends and your family? What are they gonna say? 
two possibilities. They say, gosh, Don, you know, I just soon keep my stupid dead end boring job and work the rest of my life and end up broke. You know, that's one possibility. Most people are gonna say, that sounds interesting. Can you tell me more? Okay, so I just finished the first step of a three part system, okay? If you were to time it, that step takes less than one minute. And I want you to understand that if you can learn to do what I just did, a one minute step about owning your life, you can build a business. Anybody can build a business. It's that simple because see now the tools take over and do all of the talking. Not some of the talking, all the talking. So second step, you just, you're talking to the person, like, well, this could be anywhere in the world. See now with Zoom and stuff, uh, anywhere in the world where your company's doing business and I'll get into that with the Q and A's, how, how you can do that because it's so simple. That's the only step they need. And they can get the recording of the Zoom training. Listen to it two, three times. You can't learn a one minute presentation, write it down on a three by five card, hand it to them, let them read it. It's, it's that simple. Because uh, once they you know, understand it, uh, they get in and they know how to drive. You got someone you can start, start working with. So anyway, um, Kind of lost my chain of thought here. Uh, second step, all you got to do is say to the person, if you really want to own your life and have time, money, and health, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you the first five chapters of the best selling book in the world on network marketing. And so when you read the book, you can understand network marketing. And when you understand it, you'll know how to drive, okay? Now, um, it only took me like a couple minutes to introduce that concept to him. All I need to know from you is how do you want me to send it to you? Do you want me to send it to you by print or audio? Now, why is audio important, okay? People are getting to the point where they're saying, you know, they don't have time to read. Well, if you go to any town in the world during commuter time and look at the traffic, 90% of the vehicles have one person in them. And that person probably hates their commute, probably hates their job, going to work the rest of their life. They can change their whole life by taking, you know, the five chapters with them on their mobile app on their commute and listening to it while they're on their commute. Uh, you can listen to it while you're fixing dinner, uh, while you're jogging, walking your dog, exercising, all way, different ways you can look, uh, listen to it. Now, once you ha have read, they have read the book, now they're ready to go to the app. Now the app, you see my, my partner, Jeff Rimaldi, link his phone to the computer and share the screen. And it's kind of like a, a learning curve. Once you've actually done it yourself, there's about seven ways you can send out the app with the technology. Once you've done this two, and a, two to three times, it's a, a learning curve, okay? It's gonna take you about 20 seconds to be able to send it out. Now, before we had the app system and technology, People would buy my book, okay? Not just one book, they buy five books, 10 books, 20 books and so forth. <laughs> but I want you to keep track of what it would cost today if you were to buy a book and send out the book, okay? Now, first of all, you gotta buy the book. Now, <laughs> unless you're sent, you know, living next door to a post office, you have to go to the post office to mail it. Now, I don't know how much gas costs where you live, but I'm in California. We're already at $7 a gallon. It's going to go up to 10. It's going to, it's going to keep going up, okay? You got to add the cost of your gas or petrol to the cost of the book. And what about your time? See, your time has value. How long did it take you to go to the post office and come home? You stand in line in the post office, 
and uh, you buy the stamps. You got to pay for the stamps and you mail it to them. Now you're going to wait five days for them to receive it. Of course, unless you send it overnight and then you add that to the cost. So anyway, you wait five days and you call them up and say, have you received the book yet? And they say they did. Have you read it yet? They say they did. No, they didn't. They lied to you, okay? That's called cooling off. They've had five days to change their mind and they've lost interest. That cannot happen now because with the app, while you're talking to them, okay, on your mobile device, you can actually send them the five chapters right while you're talking to them. So when you hang up the phone, they have it right then. No more cooling off. Now, if you like that idea, you're going to love what I'm going to tell you. Okay, because see, when that person starts to read the five chapters, you get a ping on your mobile device letting you know they started to read. Okay, now if they hang up before they finish the five chapters, you get another ping saying they partially read it. Now, when they pick it up again to read it, you're going to get a ping letting you know they're back looking at it again. And when they finish reading it, you get another ping saying they finished reading it. <laughs> so how cool is that? to be able to call this person 10, 20 minutes after they just finished it. And you don't have to ask them if they read it because you already know they did and you know they're interested or they want to finish reading it. So we're very excited about that. Now, the best part of the whole thing, you added up the cost of what it would do just to send out one book. So for less than the cost of one book, you are going to be able to send out unlimited first five chapters of the book to anywhere in the world. And the cost of getting it to them is all included in a cost, which is like, uh, right now it's $20 uh, a month. And, but we don't have the new upgraded app yet. So we're telling people to wait till we get the new upgraded uh, app and a new edition of my book, which is just gonna blow you away when you see this. And that'll be ready shortly. And that's going to be $25 a month. So anyway, we're excited to get that going. So third step, they've seen the demonstration. And now once they've gone through everything on the app, then they're ready to go to your vehicle. Okay. Don't ever, ever <laughs> tell them anything about your vehicle, companies, products, and marketing plan until they've been through the first three steps, okay? If they ask you, you know, well, gosh, what are you selling or what's your company? You tell them you lose. They're gonna go on Google and they're gonna see all your products and they're gonna think that you're trying to sell them the products or getting them to sell them for them and so forth. They, they're gone, period. So never ever do that. When people ask me, you know, uh, that question, which very seldom they'll do, that they do, I say, look at if I was selling anything, it would be an opportunity for you to own your life. Um, anyway, let me just take a minute here, go through what you get when you get the app. Besides being able to send out unlimited uh, first five chapters of the book, but print and audio or both, okay? Uh, you're going to get a section called questions and answers, okay? Right now on the app we have, which was the original app, we have 25, but we got about 30 more that's going to be added to the new, the new edition of the app. Now, what, how that works is that you sponsored someone who sponsors someone who asks your person a question. And but now they're new, they don't have the answer, and you're out of town or whatever. And how long does it take them to find you the answer to the question? See, now all they have to do is pick up their mobile device, find the Q&A, and they can send that right to them. And then the person will have it and get it to, uh, to their prospect. So we're really excited about that. I have another section called Nancy's Wisdom. And that's my, my wife, Nancy, who about six months before she passed away, she did a Zoom training that women absolutely love, okay? If you don't know this, 70% of the people in the world in network marketing are women. And men also like, like it too. 
Uh, in that section, there's a couple interviews that we did together. We have more content that's going to be going in the new uh, update of the app and so forth. We have a few uh, uh, interviews that we did on podcasts with Tom Chenault, Simon Chen, and Peter Mangles. And these are very famous in the network marketing industry on network marketing. And Tom Chenault, after the interview with him, it went out to 500 different radio stations and Simon uh, Chen, his went out on YouTube. I've had a lot of podcasters now want me to do interviews for them, and I'm not doing any more interviews until we have the new app ready, ready to go. Now, on the original app, which was done a year ago, we had a, had a change because they only had six employees. They couldn't keep up with this. It would have taken us years to get the app in different languages. We had a guest person that came on uh, named uh, Dr. Steve Hines. He's a retired eye surgeon, multimillionaire, been in network marketing for 30 years, has the largest and fastest growing uh, group in his company. Uh, and he uses our training and material and so forth. And let me tell you, if you have a doctor, dentist, lawyer, professional person, listen to this guy for just a few minutes. They're going to want to join your business. Uh, this guy is really, really good. So we have that. The only thing we didn't have on the, uh, uh, and it, he's going to be a full part of the app. Uh, we're also going to have on the app, like this training I'm doing right now, uh, I'm keeping it as concise as possible. to Keep the time down. Okay, so this, something like this, we, unless we get a better one, will be on the app. So you could be able to send out the Zoom training which is very important because when you have someone that's interested, don't try to teach them everything I'm teaching you here, okay? Uh, just send them the copy of the app that you're going to get, or the Zoom training on the app. Uh, one thing we didn't have originally that we'll have, the, the app's going to go out to five chapters, not four. The reason for that is because by doing that, app presentation is number four and we'll pick that up now and that's about the building and the foundation and we're also going to have people do testimony okay and these will be like one and a half to two minutes for maybe a person cannot mention the name of their company or products or so forth but to give you an example like we had a woman a few weeks ago gave a testimony because I'm going to get through here in a few minutes we're going to do that have questions answers and testimonies and her testimony was after hearing the training one time, the next week, she sponsored two people who also sponsored one person each that week. So something like that where someone's been in the business for a while and trying to sell and they know, now they know it doesn't work because that's why everybody's dropping off all the time. And uh, so now they're doing the business way we're teaching and having success. So that, that testimony. So what we're going to do now, and uh, I'm going to explain to you first why we do it, and then we're going to take a photo. Now, why we do that is that when we first started doing this, someone has said, can we take a photo? And I said, no problem. And then, uh, they, then they asked if they could take a photo. And I said, well, that's fine, as long as you, know, you don't mention your company or product and so forth on the thing. So people started doing this. Now, some of these people have been in network marketing for 10, 15, 20 years. And their Facebook, gosh, they had anywhere from 1,000 to three or four or 5,000 people on their Facebook. And a lot, a high percent of those people were in network marketing with them years ago, but they're not now, okay? They've already quit because they don't want to sell. So this is called the apologetic approach. You call this person you might not have talked to for five or 10 years and just call them and say, gee, you know, I'm giving you a call because I want to apologize. Isn't silence powerful? <laughs> okay. So there you're wondering, well, why, why do you want to apologize? Well, remember I got you started in that network marketing program many years ago. And, um, Anyway, 
I, I want to apologize because I, I didn't know what I was doing. Just be honest. I didn't know what I was doing. Because see, I didn't know that it had nothing to do with selling. And I was get, trying to get you to recruit people to sell. Well, I had an opportunity to go to a Zoom training by one of the top network marketing trainers in the world. And I learned that we don't sell, that we sponsor and teach people to duplicate. And we have a Zoom training that runs, uh, gosh, uh, 25 minutes. That if I send that to you, understand how you can do this without ever doing any selling, which means everybody you need to do it. And with this training, you're gonna be able to do in two to five years with this person that did the Zoom training took 25 years to do. And you'll be able to own your, have time, money, and health in like two to five years, okay? So if you'd like me to send it to you, just let me know and I'll send it out to you. Folks, that's all you gotta say. It doesn't make any difference if they say yes or no, okay? Because if they say no, how much time did that take you? Another minute? <laughs> you're, not, you're not wasting much of your time. But you might have 100 people or 200 people there. I'll guarantee you a high percentage of those people are going to want more information. And you have a chance to sponsor them in what you do now. So that's why we take the photo.